This definition for stability is epsilon a n dimensional sphere? It is, I'm so, sorry. And is the epsilon and delta both are n dimensional sphere? Like, yeah, they are radius sphere. So we are in RN, so yeah, this is what they want. Yes, this is indeed a ball here. It's a sphere. Okay. In so the magnitude is the same in all the directions? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to to stay within an epsilon neighborhood of the initial point. Yeah, okay. Any question? Okay, so this is stability, just stability, mere stability. This is the, the weakest thing ever, is you know, to stay down. And then we have asymptotic stability. So X naught is asymptotically stable. If what if it's stable? And it goes eventually to the equilibrium point. Here we didn't require the near stability, we didn't require that you converge to the X naught. So the usual notion of stability that we have in our minds as engineers that I'm going to eventually go back to the point is not included in the upper stability. This is actually the asymptotic stability. So the limit as t goes to infinity of x of t is x0 again. You recover it in the limit, okay? So this is the usual notion of stability that we know. But we have examples that uh, we go back, but it's not stable. So we don't want to do that. So we have examples, and I can give you some differential equations, very simple, that <clears throat> you start here, you go do crazy things and come back eventually at time goes to fit to the point. We, we, we don't like that. Okay? This is not asymptotic stability. So the stability is the upper stability, so it's bounded and you can control the bound. And we have uh, asymptoticness in the you know convergence, asymptotic convergence. Then we have uh, global, this property you can I make it global. So global globally asymptotically stable. For global asymptotic stability. So it's asymptotic stability, and you have a global property in the sense that it starts from anywhere in the domain, it's stable and it will converge uh, to the point eventually. Okay. So uh, it's like uh, delta doesn't matter. Start anywhere, and you will you will stay down and go eventually to the point. The last thing is, so x naught is exponentially stable. So exponentially means it's asymptotic also, actually. So this is, uh, what do you mean by exponentially stable? It means asymptotically stable, actually. So we, we got to converge. Asymptotic stability, but uh, fast enough with exponentially fast convergence. Convergence rate. Exponentially fast convergence in mathematical words, it means that there exists a bound m, an exponent lambda, such that the response, the difference between the response and the equilibrium, so it decays exponentially fast. m e to the power negative lambda t times the initial disturbance x of zero minus x of zero. Okay. So the initial disturbance decays exponentially fast. Any questions so far? Because you can converge like 1 over t. 1 over t is really small in comparison to uh, e to the negative t. So these are the definitions, the, the formal definitions of stability, which are typically taught in you know, very early lectures in 275, right after maybe weaker iteration or something, with existence and uniqueness of differential equations. Depends on how you get the course. Please, if you have a question, stop me. So, for linear system, 
So LTI are paradise x dot equals a x plus b u. Or you know, there is no control here. The origin x naught is zero is you get all of them, you get the high. So this is hierarchy, right? So here, stability is the weakest, then you add something, then you add something, and so on. So you get all of them. It's globally exponentially asymptotically stable point. So it's globally exponentially. If you say exponential, you don't need to say asymptotically. Globally exponentially stable equilibrium of this guy, if and only if, so it's, you know, you have a sharp condition, you have the best uh, result. So, if and only if the eigenvalues of the matrix all align the open left half plane, they can be on the imaginary axis. So the I of A, the real part of it, they are strictly less than zero. Okay? Any question? This is the other very well known result. Okay. And uh, Let's talk about now if it's not stable, then we want to make it stable. So stabilizability. Now we have a for, we have formal definitions for stability of it. So if I'm asking you <clears throat> make this guy stable, I precisely define what do I mean by stable, make it stable. Stabilizability. Now, something that's not may not be stable, but I want to stabilize it. So here is my system, x dot equals f of x and u. And we'll do a lot with this system today, so I'm going to call it 1. Um, so x and rm, u and rm. So f is a map from rm cross rm to rm again. We have an equilibrium point. So f of x naught and zero control is zero in Rn. The question is, this x naught was okay, it's an equilibrium point at zero control, but it might be unstable, and I want to use my control to stabilize it. And I want to do, before just spending my entire life trying to do that, where it's cannot be achieved, you don't have enough actuators or something, I want to ask, can I do it first or not? Okay? You know these three questions that we have in engineering usually, can you do it? If yes, uh, can you do it optimally? If yes, then okay, how can I do it optimally? So this is, this maybe entire course is just, can we do it or not? So stabilizability, can I do it or not? So does there exist a smooth, Feedback control law, so u is a function of x, such that x naught, this equilibrium that you want to stabilize, is an asymptotically stable equilibrium which we define rigorously, asymptotically, right? Stable equilibrium point of the closed loop system. Close loop after you substitute by your control. So x dot now becomes f of x and u of x. The right hand side now is just a function of x. And if you have the right hand side as a function of x and have an equilibrium, we rigorously define what we mean by asymptotic stability. Okay? This is the stabilizability question. Any question about that? So again, for LTI system, carry over here. This guy, x dot equals ax plus bu, <coughs> is stabilizable around the origin. And any equilibrium. So one of the characteristics of the linear system is that all equilibria have the same characteristics. Origin and that kernel of A. 
So, okay, this guy is stabilizable if and only if what? Anybody remembers? When can we make the linear system stable? If the uncontrollable part is stable. Yes. So if and only if the uncontrollable modes uncontrollable modes are have no you know have no unstable poles, right? The uncontrollable modes are exponentially stable. So, um, okay, so first of all, you're, you're talking about the uncontrollable modes. So this means that if I don't have uncontrollable modes, if my system is controllable, then it's stabilized, right? So controllability implies stabilizability for linear systems. It's not the case in general, and we're going to discuss this in today. Okay? Why? Can, can you show me in less than a, a minute why this is the case? Because if your poles are on the right hand side, you can control it. And yeah, so stabilizable means that there exists you equals blah blah blah, right? That stabilizes your system. Well, okay, here is if you want control, here is your control. Negative kx, obviously.